Hell yeah, what's up guys? This is Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I want to show you how to create your own songs for free using Stable Audio 2.0. The 2.0 just launched, and here's the thing. It's pretty darn good. It's not as good as Suno AI V3, in my opinion. I'd rather be upfront about that. But it has some really good things going for it. And you can do three-minute songs with this. So keep that in the back of your head in Suno AI V3. You can make up to two minute songs, but they're usually like a minute 40, and then you gotta generate another minute, and then you gotta combine them. Stable Audio 2.0, well, they can do three minute songs right out of the box. So there we go. Uh, in a nutshell, let's start from scratch here. I'm in stableaudio.com forward slash generate. Links in the description below. Free to sign in, free to use. So here we go. The first thing you'll notice here on the left side is the prompt. So, I mean, I don't really have anything in mind so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and click on this option here prompt library when i click on that it just sort of has pre-packaged ideas so if i was to go with i don't know let's select epic rock there we go i just clicked on it and it gives you the prompt of course you can go in and add in whatever you see fit these are just ideas so keep in mind if i wanted to you know if i wanted it to be 150 bpm then that's it i can go ahead and do that so there you go uh, the model uses Audio Sparks 2.0. This is interesting because it was trained on the Audio Sparks um, model or on the Audio Sparks, I guess, library. But uh, creatives and artists were allowed to opt out if they wanted to. So, according to Stable Audio, this is all above board. There's no stealing, you know, creatives from creatives, as far as I know. Again, I can't verify that, but that's their uh, position on it. And I will put a link to the FAQs. So you can double check that. Also notice here, you can increase and decrease the size of the song. I've got it at three minutes, so the maximum. And then the last thing I wanna show you, it's really cool here, is you can add your own audio. So if you've got like your own beat that you kinda of wanna add in, or maybe you've hummed along and you've, you know, you got a drum beat that you kinda of hummed along and you know, you're making a beat with your mouth even for that matter, or just a couple of sticks and a table, you can upload that as a prompt to give stable audio some ideas so just keep that in mind now basically all you need to do now is once you've got where you where you want it i'm going to go ahead and click on generate and it's going to go ahead and start generating a new song now while this generates you're going to notice here that i've got three songs already done so i can give you a bit of a background as to how good or bad this is and i'm going to be up front here the you know the electronic dance trancey type music it's very very good at that but it struggles with the heavy metal and like the hard rock stuff I found because it just doesn't have a very believable crunchy guitar style. So if that's your thing, you may want to keep uh, Suno AI V3 in mind. Let's click on a few examples so just so you can see what I'm talking about. Here's the trance, which did a pretty good job. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Yep, yeah, start slow. It's got a nice riser at the beginning. Not bad. And then it starts to pick up. Here we go. All right, so I mean, I, I see where it's going, and also you can read the exact uh, prompt that was used to create this, as well as the seed and the number of steps taken. So if you want to go ahead and recreate this in a similar style, it's very easy to do. You can use the prompt again. You can also copy the prompt here, or you can use this as an input for something else so keep that in the back of your head also i guess you know what let me show you what we just created while i while i explain that to you here's the post rock guitar drum kit bass thing 150 beats per minute i just created let's listen to this i have no idea how this is going to sound but hopefully good here we go all right starting slow but not bad all right Okay. I'm just skipping forward. Alright, so you're not going to win an Emmy with that, don't get me wrong, but hey, it's still pretty cool. And if I want to download the songs, I can just go ahead and click on the download track button right there. And I could use the, oh wow, I'd like to see what the video looks like, that's interesting. I'll click on the MP3 of course, but there you go. If you want to download, go ahead and do that. It also creates a video. I did not know that until now, uh, but there you go, guys. So that's how you do it. Let's take a look at the video, actually, before I go anywhere. Uh, let's go ahead and just open it. All right. 
kind of simple, but you know, we'll take it. It's got that nice, cool little uh, sunshiny look. And there you go. If you want to go ahead and check out all of the other parts, I recommend going to the FAQs here. When you do that, it'll explain to you why it costs two credits. Is every piece of audio unique? Yes, it is. Uh, and also the commercial side of things where if you want to use your um, use the content, where are you allowed to upload it and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it will pass copyright checks. It should get pass, pass copyright checks and all that other stuff here that's important. There you go, guys. It's all in here and the licensing as well. So there you go, guys. That's all there is to it. Try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.